Hello, fellers and fellerettes. Today's project is ripping out this platform, which I use for my generator and building a new one, a smaller one. This one is just kind of a, a rigged up one that I did using OSB and it's just falling apart. So this new one I'm gonna build, it will be just big enough for the generator. plan is to try to reuse some of the steel and add some more and do a mesh top for the generator to sit on. Okay, slight change of plans. I forgot I had this thing that I built, which slides into a hitch for cargo. It's a little bit bigger than I want, uh, but the mesh I have on hand is not big enough to cover it. So I'm going to do a hybrid system, maybe part uh, tree apply wood and part mesh, and I can keep generator on one side and maybe some other cargo on the other so we'll go from there all right we're just gonna sand this up again paint it real nice first i'm gonna patch up that hole the, where i moved through when i was welding before just strengthen it up make it look good I didn't want to blow through the square tubing right here, so I did a quick pass of uh, 6013 uh, lower amp, and then I'll do a cover pass of uh, 7018, really bring it together. Not the prettiest, but it's keeping me on the bottom. No one's gonna see it. All right, I got the rack drying, getting ready for paint. In the meantime, let's tackle this. See exactly what we need to do. I think I'll cut off most of it and then mount some sort of uh, hitch receiver in the middle for that uh, rack receiver hitch to slide into. I'm just gonna cut these off flush with the bumper, probably weld up the ends so that there, there's no holes. And then I'll mount the center receiver on the bumper itself.
All right, next step I'm gonna do is start on the filling the receiver. I got this pipe sitting around, but it's square tubing, but the hitch receiver should be two inches on the inner diameter. This is two and a half. So I'm gonna try to cut this down. You know, cut it this way and then try to shrink it to a two inch inner diameter. I'll use the plasma cutter for that. I got them cut down to roughly two inch in your diameter. Let's weld that up. I got it all welded up, ground down. It's a little kitty wampus, but it works. The hitch will slide right in. Now I'll drill out the hole for the pin. thing up so that it fits between the spare tire and the ladder here. Somewhere in there. Take that coupler off, weld it right under the debumper. tough welding thicker steel onto this thin metal bumper all right for those of you wondering if this is uh can be structurally sound to hold the weight of a generator you know you hear horror stories of uh bumpers being ripped off on uh, travel trailers and whatnot i have this bumper um fortified with this welded you know throughout this is welded onto this which i added which goes to the frame or the cross member. Same on this side. And this whole bumper is beefed up with these horseshoe shaped collars, whatever, which is also welded on. So I'm also adding these little plates on the top side to keep this from twisting and ripping off the bumper. So I think we should be good there. Let's 
out by painting it, and uh, we should be getting close. Got that painted up. Let's go paint the rack. And got that painted. I got that painted. All right, I got the generator test fitted here. I'm gonna add these two by fours, screw them down to the deck here. That way it can't go this way, this way, or to the side. And that'll just be some added security. Fits in there nicely. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more builds and projects.